Our last day in Wyoming, after a great night's sleep at our bed and breakfast, and an even better breakfast, we were soon ready to roll. All right, so here we are. We're uh, in um, Riverside and heading to Walden today. Got about 60 miles. Today is only 50 miles. Oh, thank yep. you. Next the last day of the trip and uh, got a bunch of climbing to do today. We'll cross into Colorado. Should be grand. We rolled down the long dirt driveway of the B&B and out onto Highway 230. After a series of rolling hills, we hit a longer three-mile climb, followed by a little descent, and then continued gradually uphill to the border with Colorado. All right. We are at the Wyoming, Colorado uh, state line, and we had already been informed by a couple people, and we checked it out ourselves. Um, Wyoming has shoulders. Colorado, for a ways, we're not sure how far, has no shoulders. But apparently they do come back, shoulders on the road. So we're going to ride close together, try to be a you know thing that cars can easily go around. Um, we were hoping for a day that... Ah, there's a car passing a car as we speak and went off into the shoulder. Um, anyway, we were hoping to have a not windy day. We've got a kind of an overcast day with a headwind. It's not a huge headwind, but it's a discouraging headwind because we're climbing the whole day. Um, yeah. yeah. And this is our last state line. It's our last state line. Only uh, one more full day of riding after this. So. That's right. Tomorrow, we yeah. have more climbing tomorrow. <laughs> yep. So. A little over 23, Less than 25 miles to go to our overnight. That's right. So we're just going to take it easy and, and try and enjoy. Yeah. All right. Bye. In spite of the lack of shoulder, there were other bike tourists out, like Chase and Luna. All right, so you're heading to Astoria. Yes. And your name? Chase. Chase. This is Luna. Hey, Luna. Hey, Luna. We're on day six. Oh, we're excellent. Out from Pop. I don't know, we started May 17th. 20. Two? Day 22? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out. i got to be back but in Denver by July 19th. Ah. So I'm, I think I'm on pace right now, you know, to, right. to, to get to the end and, and then drive yeah. back. So. Well, we're right. going to Denver and we're taking Amtrak home. Yeah, that's, I mean, I wish I could do that. I just can't do it with her. I, that's, I'm going to have to just rent a car and drive back, I guess. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I know. Take her, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. You so can't. Cute. Thank you. After chatting with Chase and Luna, we came to the only business on today's route, an RV park with a small convenience store and a bathroom with one of those old gross towel rolls. Carol quickly changed her battery here while we ate something quick, and then we headed on. I'll fast forward now. We continued to fight the headwind as the shoulder on the road came and went, and the road surface morphed from decent to abysmal to, well, worse. Eventually, we got to Walden. In Walden, we were staying at a small hotel above a saloon, so we grabbed a great lunch there at the saloon while we waited for our room to be ready. We were upstairs with no elevator, so our bikes stayed downstairs. The hotel staff was very helpful and found us a safe place for them. Then we walked around town a bit before heading back to the same saloon for dinner. At breakfast the next morning, yes, at the saloon again, we ran into two more bike tourists, Dave and Danny. Yeah. I'm David working all day and we're headed to Missoula. All right. So, I'm Gary Bell. Matt. Matt. Maryland. Uh, and where'd y'all start uh, this leg uh, at? Great Bend, Kansas. We oh. Okay. Great Bend, Kansas. Gotcha. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> so this would be the biggest segment we've done. Uh, so good, five weeks, so, uh, good to talk to somebody else doing it in segments. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to stop near Denver, catch Amtrak, pop our bikes on and go home. So. Yeah, we've done Amtrak for yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The road was gorgeous as we rolled out of Walden, but that didn't last. 
Today's route had us going through the Arapaho National Wildlife Refuge and through Rand, where we stopped at the store and used their outhouse. The road past Rand was a little better, as we could see the mountains we needed to climb that day. Soon that climb began, up to our final passage over the Continental Divide at Willow Pass. Carol went on and waited for me there while I slugged my way up and up and up until I finally got to the top, very winded and tired. Oh shit! Don't hit me! <laughs> It wasn't. I took a break while Carol started down, and while I ate a candy bar, Kim came by. All right. Now tell us who you are and why'd you stop? Hey, I'm Kim, and I stopped because it's the Continental Divide, and just gotta stop. I saw a crazy guy on a bike. <laughs> Actually, not crazy at all. I'm jealous. Kim would have been more jealous if she could have done the descent from there. Much of the road here went through the area devastated by the Granby Fire in 2020, which destroyed over 100 acres of forest. The land was slowly coming back, as were new homes apparently not worried about a recurrence or any mudslides from the decimated terrain. I caught up with Carol here, and we stayed closer as we descended toward busy US 40. On US-40, the usual afternoon thunderstorms came rolling in just as we got into Granby, with a wicked crosswind that made us work hard to control our bikes. To get out of the weather, we stopped and had lunch at an excellent little restaurant before heading to the hotel. Once we checked in, we enjoyed their hot tub and sauna. Then we ate at the hotel's restaurant. It had, well, a good location. It was mostly empty and it reminded us both of the bar and the shining. How are things going, Mr. Torrance? Things could be better, Lloyd. Things could be a whole lot better. Why, you're the caretaker. The next morning, we were up early and off to Fraser. It was a short ride, mostly on quiet but lumpy roads, with a view. Fraser was super cute, and we found a funky breakfast place. Then we followed the signs to the Amtrak platform to wait for our train. We had arrived early, so of course, the train was late. Next week, the train ride home. See you then.